Yeah, we are back. So I realized that, uh, I mean, when I record this, I load up to Google YouTube the, some past episode at the same time. And I realized that uh, that also is a contributing factor of this 100% disc, disc usage. So yeah, so from today and on, when I'm recording this, yeah, I'm not going to upload anything. Okay, so. Yeah, it will slightly slow down this uploading process, but that's fine. Yeah. There's something in this vodka. Ah, no big deal. I mean, it's vodka. If there are some germs, they are already dead. No problem. So, uh, what else do we talk about? Well, let's lower the angle a little bit, okay? So, uh, better. Yeah, this scientific paper yeah we can take a break from it okay we wrote a lot by now like 31 pages previous paper was 39 pages this paper I've, so far 31 pages we came a long way so we deserve we earned some break from this paper writing yeah, it's good that i didn't write today okay so yeah it's, it's better to Take it nice and slow, so that the quality of the paper does not suffer. Yeah, so good. Yeah. Let's talk about President Trump's uh, this town hall performance. Uh, I mean, I like the way he talks, his facial expression is more energetic, and I'm very glad he's back to good health. He was, he didn't look like a sick man, and that was very good. He came to national audience and showed that he's healthy. He defeated coronavirus. That was very good, okay. It was very good move that he showed that he's healthy and he defeated coronavirus. That's very good. That's great leadership, good role model. So yeah, I mean, between the two, I vote for President Trump again. But because I'm running, I vote for myself. Okay, because in my heart, I know I can do better than President Trump. Can, ever can. Okay, so, <clears throat> but, yeah, but most likely I'm not going to win, okay, so, yeah, I will President Trump win, okay, I, I, I did pray for him multiple occasions for his re-election, okay, so, <clears throat> I do support his candidacy <clears throat> and his, his re-election, okay. So let's talk about money and democracy, okay, yeah. I agree with many people that mo democracy is not supposed to be run by money, okay? But, uh, because if a candidate receives a lot of money from special interest, after they get elected, they'll do their biddings, as opposed to solving the public, okay? And, typically a candidate needs a lot of money to advertise their campaign, okay? So money has to come from somewhere. If they do, if they are to do campaign advertisement, and yeah, big corporation they got the money. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's election law, but they can always get around it by pack, super pack. Okay, so okay, yeah.
Well, I'm trying something very different here, okay? Yeah, I, I keep on running every two years or so. Uh, but I want my name to be known by some substance, not by some empty advertisement paid by some special interest, all right? I want to get known by substance. That's why I'm writing these papers, okay? Yeah. And if I do get known, if I become famous with all these papers, academic papers, uh, then yeah, the media companies, they'll interview me for free. Or if I write articles to their newspaper or whatever, they'll publish it. I already get known that way as opposed to taking money from special interest and then advertise and no. I, that's what other candidates do, but I, I don't want to go down that track. Right? I want to become famous first by some substance, knowledge. Yeah, that's why I'm writing these papers. Okay. I want the fame come to me naturally, not artificially by advertisement, but naturally by publishing my ideas, demonstrating my knowledge. And over time, let my fame grow naturally in time. It may take longer. That's fine. Why? I have so many ideas to write about yeah. Mr. Jesus said yeah the son of man will come before you visit all these different villages and children of Israel he did say that in the New Testament so, yeah that's, that's how that's one way to interpret this okay so Maybe I write these papers, all different subjects, but if, even before I write all my ideas down and publish it in all these different academic disciplines, maybe I become famous before then. How many years will it take? I have no clue. Okay. And based on past statistics, past two months, it's been two months since I started writing and I published two papers. By publication, I mean putting up their online database, not in peer review journal, but online database, okay? Somewhere internet accessible to everybody in the world, all right? So, yeah, no subscription necessary. People can just go to their website and just download it. And, uh, One paper, academic pa research paper per month. So in two years, about 20 papers. That's quite a lot. Right? So do I have enough ideas to write 20 paper, academic papers, each of them like 40, 50 pages long? Yes, I do. Okay. We've been doing this human knowledge series by now three years. And how many episodes do we have so far? More than 1,000, right? We have discovered a lot. We have accumulated a lot of knowledge, huge corpus of knowledge. And they're mostly brand new. Right, so, yeah, I got more to write than 20 research papers, okay. And we are also continuing to learn in those two years, next two years, okay. So yeah. It's an experiment. Candidacy, democracy, not run by money at all, but run by substance, knowledge, right? It's an experiment. Let's see how it works, okay?
I hope it does. Okay. We'll take five minutes, right? Okay, so. All right. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I didn't want to wear a coat like this because it's too heavy But <clears throat> Outside it's like 32 degrees, right? So I didn't have a choice It is autumn in Alaska and 
October. In October, we are allowed to have this winter tire with these metallic studs. And I did have my tires changed for the winter, okay. It's because it got, it's gonna snow soon, all right? No problem. So yeah. By the way, thank you for being here with me, okay? I, I really appreciate your time. And um, I hope I'm not wasting your time though. Uh, but hey, uh, what I'd encourage you to do is become a politician, right? We talk about politics here. Yeah, I, I encourage you to, to run for an office, public office in your locality, in your country. Huh? Because if you are here, you have good heart, and you are very charitable, <laughs> because I'm kind of guy who needs a lot of charity and sympathy, right? You have good heart. And people with good, and also if you are here, obviously you're a very smart person. We talk about a lot of intellectual stuff here, right? And if you are here also, you are a very brave person too. And people like you should be in politics and become leaders. So, I live in Alaska, America, so I can only speak for America, okay? In democratic country, uh, elected officials have dual roles. First, they are public servants, representatives. They represent people. But that's only one half. The second role is that, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm using middle finger. Okay, how about this ring finger? Well, whatever. The second role is that uh, they are leader. Elected officials. They are supposed to lead people. Even if his or her idea is not what people think okay yeah they should represent people they are public servant they serve people the first role is dual role okay the second role is that they should be leaders and educators they should have enough perhaps superior knowledge so that they can teach people and lead people and educate people that's how it's supposed to be Okay? I'm telling you all this because I never get elected. Then I don't know. If I don't, I hope you do. Even if I do get elected for some position, I hope you get elected too. Okay? Then my recommendation, okay? I mean, look at this world, okay? Yeah, there are a lot of room to improve. Perhaps it's not too bad. But there's still room to improve. Plenty of them, right? So, people like you and me, uh, at least we should try to be elected in public office so, can, so that we can make this world a better place for our future generations. Don't you think that's our duty? Right? Yeah. So, in my mind, if you are here, you're qualified to run for a public office, okay? So, yeah. Because if you are here, you're a very nice person, good heart, and also you're a very smart person too, okay? So I fully recommend you to run for public office. How do you do that? Yeah, start attending these local political meetings. Yeah, city level, town level, city level, county level, state level. Yeah, and befriend local political activists and local politicians. Okay, that's what I did. Okay, <coughs> and public meetings governmental meetings okay yeah 
in, at least in America, they typically give two minutes or three minutes for any citizens in the audience to speak their minds, right? I mean, even in presidential level, each question, this presidential candidate like President Trump or Vice President Joe Biden, they are given two minutes to answer the question, okay? Even presidential candidate level, limited, two minutes, okay? Yeah. And also call to local radio talk shows, political talk shows, Mostly it's AM, what, amplitude modification, right, a modulation. FM, yeah, that's more like national level, more music, right, but in AM, what is FM? Yeah, frequency modulation, okay. Short distance, more big cities, right, but AM, yeah, that's the, goes far, radio wave, okay. Go to rural regions and rural regions they tend to be conservative okay so fm that's more like urban area so they tend to be liberal okay whatever but yeah am yeah listen to am amplitude modulation just wave you have frequency and amplitude right frequency is more horizontal amplitude is more vertical okay that's physics okay so yeah electromagnetic wave okay so anyway uh, so yeah, listen to AM radio, okay, and familiarize yourself with all these political radio talk shows in AM. Not in the morning, yeah. Some I'm not talking about AM PM. I'm talking about AM FM radio, right? Yeah, listen to AM and spot in your town. If you're in America, I, I don't know about other countries, okay. Yeah, in America, you have AM channel and there are a lot of political talk shows, local, okay? And they take calls, give them a call, right? And express your ideas in public. Yeah, go to local meetings, political meetings, like city meeting, town meeting, city meeting, county meeting, or state meeting. Yeah, because they are op open to the public, okay? Yeah, learn about issues, meet people, local political activists, local politicians. Yeah. It takes your time, but it does not take your money. Yeah, time is money, but yeah, if you want to be a politician, that's the price that you have to pay. I did, okay? Yeah, so befriend people there, okay? Yeah, say hello, right? And then, yeah, two minutes, three minutes, four, five minutes, okay? Yeah, use that time and to observe the time limit. I used to rehearse every time, okay? Three years ago. Well, two years ago, okay? But after. Oh, after a year, yeah, I don't have to rehearse anymore. I used to write it down and memorize and rehearse, okay. But after a year, I, I didn't have to rehearse. I don't have to write it down. I don't have to memorize. I just think about it and well, you get used to it. Just time limit, two minutes, okay. Yeah. Then you meet local activists, right? And they have activist group. They have this local activist clubs. And you pay the annual due and you become a mem member. Mm -hmm. And you go to their meetings. Because all these political activist meetings, local level, they invite local politicians. Okay? Yeah, so then you keep an open mind you introduce yourself, right? And um, befriend local politicians. That's what I did. It's because they're, they're nice, okay? And they're capable people, local politicians, okay? Most of them. Yeah, they're nice and they're capable people, okay? So, and they are very caring people too, from my observation. 
you may not always agree with them, but still, you know, befriend them, okay. So. And after a couple of years, yeah, run for a local election. Okay. Yeah, something small. If you get elected, yeah, do your job for a couple of years and run for a bigger office, next level. No? Yeah. But you have to maintain your finance though. Okay? You have to be real realistic with your finance. Alright? Because some of my political friends recommended me to run for a county level office. Kind of generously so. But I said, well, yeah, county level office, political office, public office, thank you for the recommendation, but if, even if I get elected, I cannot pay my bill with that salary. Because I'm making more money now as a lawyer. So I pay my mortgage, I have my expenses, I have to buy cigarettes and vodka. <laughs> Car loan, okay? Because a lot of local public offices, they have very small salary. Why? Because so many people want to be elected for local small offices. So typically local public offices, uh, the people who run for those offices are retirees or local small business people, business owners. because. They don't need that much salary. Why? Because they are business owners, retirees, so they have the secondary income already keep coming in, kicking in. Okay, so yeah, they have spare time, they're business owners, and they are retirees. Okay, so they have time, they have money. So even if this small local political office, public office, don't pay enough salary, they're okay with that because they have secondary income already okay so that's the challenge okay so yeah i'm just telling you from my experience okay we we'll take five minutes break okay i maybe I, i'll tell you some more okay about how to get into politics okay yeah we'll take five minutes
I mean, <laughs> I lost the election, okay? I didn't just lose the election, I lost it big. I came up last place. There were six candidates for Alaska State Senate Republican primary, and I was sixth place. So I lost big, okay? So I'm not in any position to give you any advice how to get into politics. I can only tell you how I did it, okay? Uh, because, hey, who knows? Maybe I'll get elected one day, okay? I, I, that I don't know, all right? Because in humanology, the future is the is exclusive realm of God. Nobody can tell the future, okay? So, <coughs> I don't want to make any predictions because I think that's kind of arrogant attitude as a homo sapiens, all right? Future is exclusive domain of God. That's what, that was Jesus' attitude, okay? Yeah, the son does not know, only God knows the day, right? Yeah. We are not talking about Armageddon, no, no, we are talking about election. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> who get elected when? Only, only time will tell. Only God knows. Okay, so in this, what, less than one month from now, who's going to get elected between President Trump and VP Biden? I have no idea, and I don't want to even make prediction, okay? Just I hope, hope and pray President Trump wins, okay? Because, yeah, I'm still running, okay, but it's not likely right so yeah i'm not crazy right i'm gonna bring back that coat it's still cold Yeah, so the way I did it, I didn't care whether I get elected or not. I just did my best, but I wanted to do it my own way. So yeah, be creative, come up with your own way of campaigning. All these different methodologies. Invent one, okay? That would fit your personality. Okay? I did it my own way, okay? I can only tell you how I did it, but yeah, come up with a brand new way your own way okay yeah you don't have to follow this established campaign method right yeah. just have fun do not do anything illegal immoral unethical but you can still do something outrageous when i did my campaign all right i did not break any law i did not break any moral code or ethical violation no what did I do? I went to karaoke bars and grabbed the mic when it's my turn. Yeah, I'm running for Alaska State Senate and my name's whatever. Then and this is my campaign song and I will sing this, what? Dixie Chicks or some love song by the Beatles, Beach Boys. And I will sing and dance. I would go to dance clubs and dance by myself and if they liked my dance or my song I mean my singing I'll introduce myself after performance and hand out my campaign card that this homemade campaign card with, yeah typed it up in open office right Apache open office and print it out in my printer my home computer printer yeah, glossy photo paper, multiple in one page. Then I would cut with this paper cutter and put it in my pocket, my wallet, and my campaign card that I designed myself. 
Okay. As I show you, you know, I, I, it's in my wallet. Back there, okay, so. But yeah. Just didn't cost that much money, okay? And it didn't work. <laughs> I'm just telling you what I have done, okay? It didn't work, so I'm not in a position to give you any advices, okay? Then come up with a better method, better way, better ideas, okay? So, yeah, and I also would write to local newspapers, letters to editors, right? Yeah, they kind of generously accepted several of my essays, okay? Yeah. I mean, of course, I give them donations, right? If they ask me to, I mean, if if they take donations, I, because hey, it's a business, right? Journalism, they they need money, okay? They didn't ask me, but they do take donations. Some local newspapers, where they are local, they need money, okay? They're not like national level, so some of them do take donations, and I did. Donate them. Even the science papers, some of the online archives, they accept donations. It's not mandatory. But did I donate to them? Yes, of course. How many dollars? 20 bucks. Yeah. Per article. Because I appreciate them publishing my article in this physics archive, whatever, okay, or local newspapers because it does take money to publish things they didn't require me to donate them money but they do accept donations oh damn yeah absolutely it's not bribery no it doesn't work like that okay yeah I do donate them money yeah and yeah, so that's how I did it. It didn't quite work, but so what? I had fun, alright? Yeah, I, I had fun, okay? Yeah, going to karaoke bars and doing my campaign there. But some bars don't allow it, okay? Some bars say, have strict policy, hey, this is bar and alcohol and politics don't mix. We don't want any barroom brawl breaking out of this political dissonance, disagreement, okay? Yeah, some bars are like that, okay? If they are like that, yeah, well, I don't go there, okay? So I only go to bars and clubs that allow my campaign, they would tolerate my campaign activity, okay? What do I do? Well, I give them tips, handsome tips, okay? Like $5 per visit, something like that, okay? Yeah, it, it did take some money, okay, but I was able to afford it, okay? Because I work full time, all right? So. Yeah, but I did not take any donation. I mean, when I go to parks with these water bottles, candies and snacks, okay? Some people sometimes bouquet some flowers okay to hand out in the parks and public events some people insist me that they donate for my campaign i i did take it if they insist like one dollar five dollar ten dollar okay because they appreciated my campaign effort Yeah. But I didn't win. Alright, though I tried. 110 people in this town voted for me. I'm eternally grateful. So this first paper this year, voters equation, yeah, I, in the footnote I said, yeah, this is dedicated for 110 people who voted for me. That's more than I deserve, more credit than I deserve that they gave me. 
Because can I name 110 people by their names? I don't think so. By their faces? Oh yes. They took the effort to go to the polling station and vote for me. 110 people. Okay. God bless them. To me, they're like angel investors. They're like angels from heaven. Okay. Oh, like my parental figure, okay. You take care of me, okay, so. Yeah. And you take five minutes break, okay. And then I'll tell you some more, okay. Yes, it's story time, okay. Let's take a break from all this physics paper, right. <laughs> We'll get back to you later on, okay? Whatever. We'll take five minutes. Alright. So.
Okay, I'm cooking my dinner. Microwave. You know, I think I told you a couple of days ago. Yeah, my this turkey cooking in the oven and also beef stew meat. It got too much fat in there. Maybe it did, but I don't think that was it. Okay, because I kind of felt in my vein or artery some clogging. Yeah, I can feel it. I could feel it, but I don't think it's from this turkey and beef stew meat. I think it was from cheese balls. Why? Because I had this turkey, baked turkey and beef stew, like day before. But two days before, I felt something in my artery and vein, blood vessels. Two days before, three days before, I had some, some cheese balls. And it does take two or three days after all this food stuff get absorbed, digested, and get distributed in our body. So it was not the day, what I ate day before. Turkey and stupid beef stew, okay? So it was the day, day before, two days before, three days before. I think it was the cheese ball, okay? So I discarded my cheese ball, okay? So. Oh. And every now and then it's fine, but yeah, they tend to clog up the artery, okay? Or vein, blood vessels, okay? So. Anyways, okay, so I, I don't know you are male or female, right? But I can only speak for men because I'm a man, I'm not a female, all right? So in my past, I did go out dating, okay? And then it kind of made, made me a better person, okay? At least for us guys, we fantasize, we imagine, right? Daydream. Maybe after fourth day, this kind and generous lady would come to my house. Okay, so in the expectation, anticipation, daydreaming, fantasization, we clean our house or apartment before the very first date. So that, yeah, we clean the bathroom, we polish the faucets, right? We do the vacuum, okay? We buy fragrance, or candles, right? We guys, we do that. I can only speak for men, because I'm a man, okay? And I used to date. Not a lot, but I tried to date a lot. It didn't happen very often, but yeah, I had some dates in my past, okay? I'm 42 years old, right? Yeah. So, but I'm not a professional dater, okay? So I wasn't very successful in dating, romance market, okay? Because I'm not a professional dater. So I wasn't very successful because I speak of my mind. I don't say things that women want me to say. And to be honest, I don't know what they want me to say. <laughs> I'm not a professional dater. I did read books about dating, okay, yeah, I did, but I don't take their advices sometimes, okay, yeah, but successful or not in dating scene, I became a better person, okay, because before dating, I cleaned my bathroom, kitchen, house, or apartment, whatever, now I have a house before that, apartments, right? Yeah, so my house get cleaned up, finally. And I dress nice, I go shopping in second-hand good stores, used, used clothing, because that's the only thing I can afford. And I wash them. Back in the days, I used to <coughs> iron them too, to look nice. And, you know, try to re reinvent my hairstyle, I clean nicely, and so it may be a better person. Okay. Not just looks, not just hygiene, but also personality too. Okay. Yeah, smoothing out these sharp edges, right? Yeah. And politics is very much like this romantic market, the political market, 
Likewise, okay, I ran for an election. I didn't win because I, partly because I spoke my mind, my mind. I am not. I was not a professional politician, career politician. No. So I did not say what voters want me to hear, want me to say, want to hear from me. No, I just said whatever was my opinion on things. Maybe that's one of the reasons that I lost the election. Because I was too honest to a fault. Just like I was not that successful in dating sin. Because I was too, too honest. Right? But so what? It's okay. I became a better person, okay? I called it a success. Yeah. No problem. And I learned a great deal about people, about women, in dating scene, and in politics. Yeah, learned about great deal f about people and the world, and I became a better person. So I, I called it a success. Yeah, some financial loss in this dating scene or political campaign, but I can recover over time, right? Because I don't date often at all. And I don't run a political campaign often at all. Maybe every other year, every two years. Yeah, I can recover from that. Yeah. So how much money did I spend in this political campaign? Maybe a few thousand dollars. Yeah, I can, I can recover that all the time. No problem. How much money do I spend on a typical day and night? A few hundred dollars, I guess. Yeah, I can recover after a couple of months, I think. A right. couple of thousand dollars after a couple of years, I can recover. Okay, so, no problem. It's, it only happens once in a while. Election every two years. Dating. Once a year or twice a year, I don't know nowadays. Maybe once a year, okay. Yeah, I can go well, okay. Oh boy. So yeah, I mean, if you wanna be outrageous, okay. Yeah, I go run for public office, okay. It's nothing illegal, all right. And go to karaoke bar, sing and dance, go to dance club and dance, okay? Nothing illegal, immoral, unethical, okay? But when I was in these two or three months of campaigning, I always came home alone, right? So nothing immoral, nothing unethical, okay? Yeah. Yeah. And the cooking is such a therapeutic activity. Cleaning, cooking, very therapeutic, right? Yeah. So last weekend I did cook baked turkey with plenty of vegetables and stew meat soup, plenty of vegetables there too. And also I cooked rice as well. Rice cook. I showed you the picture, right? Yeah, I uploaded those pictures in social media and it was received very well, okay? I, they are my friends, of course, right? So, yeah. It's good to have friends. I need my friends, okay? So, I, I, yeah, I thank you for being my friend, okay? Thank you. If you are here, yeah, you're already my friend, okay? Thank you. Thank you for your friendship, okay, so. I saw it on my hair, okay, uh, you know, let's take five minutes break, okay, so. Yeah, I continue to cook my dinner, okay, so. Okay. Okay.
Okay, we recognize your son. Okay, so maybe I sing your song. Okay, yeah, yeah I think I, yeah I should think about this. If in this, if I go to karaoke bar in this uh, Halloween, pre-Halloween weekend, yeah, I'm kind of thinking about it going there. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Thank you for, I would say, yeah, I lost the election, but thank you for your support. And this is the song for you okay, who supported my campaign. Angel, right? Shaggy. But I will mo have to modify the lyrics because it's kind of disrespectful. What, Shori? Are you making for some fun of people with small stature, Shori? That's not respectful okay so I have to modify the lyrics okay so instead of surely I will say sure or surely 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 kind of rhymes right beginning and end surely surely yeah I modified that Ch substitute surely for surely because surely that's not respectful at all okay <laughs> I don't know where these people came up with all these lyrics, man. Very disrespectful, okay? But yeah, it's a good song, okay? Good remake, re rendition. Alright, yeah, Shaggy, yeah, he's talented recording artist and good dancer too. And handsome guy, yeah, he's with Jamaican or Mediterranean or something, I don't know. How about I have to change another word here? It says girl. At least that's just ladies who voted for me. Some gentlemen too. Okay. So how about people? Okay. People, you are my angel. You my darling angel. Closer than my peeps, you are to me. I don't know what peep is. Baby, I I don't want to call people who. Voted for me, supporting my campaign, baby. That's again very <laughs> disrespectful. I say substitute this word, people. People, you are my angels. You are my darling angel. Close in my people, you are to me, people. Surely you are my angel. You are my darling angel. People, you are my friend when I'm in need, people. I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think it's gonna fly, okay? Yeah, I'm not gonna sing this song, okay? Too many redac redactions. I have to come up with another song to sing, okay? I mean, I, mean, I lost on the election, but I still want to thank people, my towners, neighbors, who supported my campaign. Maybe they didn't go to polling station and voted for me. Doesn't matter. They supported my campaign nonetheless. Right? So I want to thank them. So how can I possibly... What song can possibly express my gratitude, gratitude toward them? That's a challenge, okay? Though I tried, I could not come up with a song, and I know many songs by now. I'm 42 years old. <sighs> yeah, Halloween is about two weeks away from now, so that's the deadline, two weeks, okay? So I should come up with some song to sing to my towners and neighbors who supported my campaign, okay? So, and I lost an election, but I still thank them, okay? Oh my goodness. I mean, ABBA, thank you for the music. That's too egotistical. It's about me, 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 okay? Oh, I'm nothing special. I'm a bobo. 
Yeah, it's, it's too egotistical. Okay, that, that's not appropriate for the occasion. It should be about people. Okay. It should be about you, you, not me. If it's a love song, it's mostly guys thinking about a girl, right? But voters, they are half male, half male, okay, so. Maybe I should write a song, but it's been a long time since I wrote any song, and if it's a karaoke bar, I mean, come on. If I write a song, it won't be in their catalog, okay, so. Maybe some motivational song, okay? Yeah, maybe John Lennon, Imagine, maybe, sure. But that's not a dance song, it's kind of slow music. But when I go to karaoke bar, it has to be a dancing song. Why? Because I want to sing and dance. And people get more entertained if I sing and dance at the same time. So how about forget about all this politics, okay? So some dance songs I sang in karaoke bars that people really liked. One of them, Funky Town, okay? Yeah, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Lip Sync. Lips Inc. <laughs> okay. Every comic come band, okay. So Funky Town, yeah, that was a good one. And um some other uh, other dance songs. Yeah, Summer Night. Summer Night, the Grease movie, Olivia Newton John and John Travolta. But it's not summer anymore. Oh, yeah, foot loose, right? Yeah. Some other dance songs. What are some good dance songs? Yeah, Louis Louis, right? The King's Man. Great dance song. Money, money, yeah, the Tommy James and the Chandos, a good dance song too, but uh, Safety Dance, yeah, what a man without hats or something like that. Okay. Yeah, that's good dance song. But he says, if you don't dance, you're not a good friend of mine. I don't want to discriminate against non-dancers, alright, so. I, whether they are dancers or not, they are good friends of mine, nonetheless, so. I don't want to sing that song, okay. How about this British song? Feed the world. Maybe that's a good song to sing, okay? Yeah, because if I go to Halloween, pre-Halloween karaoke bar on some Saturday, Friday, yeah, it's kind of before the Christmas, so feed the world, yeah, Band-Aid, right, British people. Maybe there was this, there would be a decent song to sing. Pre-Christmas, okay. Yeah, yeah. Band-Aid, huh? yeah. Feed the world. Uh, that could be a good song to sing, okay. So, Alright. Because there are all these different recording artists, singers, with different voices, right? I can do that. Because yeah, I used to be an actor, okay, so I can do different, multiple different voices, right? Let's take five minutes, okay? 
and then we rehearse. Okay? I think that should be the song. Okay. With the world. Alright, we'll take five minutes break and then we rehearse. I sing for you, okay? Kind of pre-game rehearsal. Yeah, we'll do that, okay? So give me five minutes, okay?
Okay, you know, let's take a break from all this stuff and let's talk about physics, okay? So, the first physics paper I wrote, we wrote this year, yeah, it's about inertial symmetry. That's more horizontal egalitarianism, horizontal equality, very liberal democratic party, okay? So, yeah, it's symmetry, it's all equal, egalitarian, okay? Horizontal egalitarianism, okay? So, yeah. But second paper I'm, we are writing right now is about vertical hierarchy, inequality. All right, it's more conservative, old order establishment, pyramid. Okay, yeah. So this more conservative Republican Party side, establishment, elitism, right? Yeah. The fourth echelon. Axiom theory. That's the name of this paper. Previously, the first paper is like a inertial symmetry axiom theory. Okay, so, so most likely people are not gonna find it because they are brand new term terminology. So they will not look for those keywords because it's brand new. All right, so it will take some time before these papers would get read and known. I'm okay with that. Okay. Let them take their natural courses, these two papers. Our oh, intellectual brainchild, grandchildren, okay, yeah, just let, let them grow up in their natural environment. Slowly. Yeah, no problem, okay. So like plants, right? Yeah. Let them grow slow, slowly and surely, okay? Sure. If those two papers are worthwhile, you will get known. Okay. So we'll leave it to people, we'll leave it to God, no problem, right? So, let's talk about Bible, okay? Old Testament is about hierarchy, vertical hierarchy, okay? Old Testament, more conservative. New Testament, more liberal, <clears throat> right? It's about egalitarianism, sympathy, compassion. Yeah, Mr. Jesus, very much liberal, right? Yeah, Mr. Jesus, if he is today, probably he's Democratic Party person, liberal, as opposed to conservative. Yeah, conservatism, that's more Old Testament. New Testament is more liberal, right? It's about egalitarianism, compassion, sympathy, right? Mr. Jesus, he did not like rich people. He was on the side of poor people. And after him, yeah, <laughs> the Saint Paul reaching out to Gentiles, heathens, foreigners. Democratic Party, liberalism, right? But in the Old Testament, it's more closed-mindedness, it's more elitism, it's about Jews, God's chosen people, right? More chauvinism, nationalism, and like President Trump, it's more conservative, Republican Party side, okay? Yeah. Now, let me zip it on my mouth and start singing, okay? Yeah. Feed the world. Okay. Let me look up the lyrics, okay? <coughs> <coughs> Oh, do they know it's Christmas? Yeah, of course I knew about this song, this world famous song, what, in 1980s, right? Uh, but, about five years ago, okay, yeah, at workplace, my colleagues of mine played this song, so I was asking them, hey, what's this song? And they told me, yeah, it's Band-Aid. 
feed the world do they know it's Christmas? Oh, thank you for the information. Okay, yeah. We share information. My colleagues, my friends, okay. So it goes like this. The chime bell, dun, 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 and some drum beat. Dun. It's Christmas time. There's no need to be afraid. At Christmas time, we let in light and we banish shade. And you are the plenty. We can smell a spot of joy. Here we are, around the world, at Christmas time. But say a prayer. Pray for the other one, at Christmas time. It's hard, but we having fun. The world outside your window is world of dread and fear. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm going to sing this song, okay? It, it, too many words. It's not a dance song, okay? So I'm not sure if I'm going to sing this song. <sighs> back to the scratch pad. Take, back to scale one. Back to ground zero, okay? I, I don't think I'm going to sing this song. This Halloween, pre-Halloween weekend in karaoke. I don't know. I have no idea what song I'm gonna sing, okay? I mean, if I go there. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna go to karaoke bar dance club pre-Halloween weekend. I would love to, okay? I'm thinking about it, okay? Because to me, it's kind of brand new annual tradition, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I make brand new traditions all the time, okay? Like when I go to a vacation in a remote town in Alaska or some other states, I buy sandals, right? Yeah. Why? Because if I go to a, travel to a beach town in Alaska or California, I don't bring my sandals and I can use some extra pairs of sandals. Okay. So I buy sandals. It became my tradition, holiday tradition, vacation tradition. Yeah, I just rinse it in the water, okay, and I bring it back with me. Right. I've done it twice. In <laughs> San Diego, California, about three years ago, and then Kenai, Alaska. About a year ago, okay. Yeah, I both send those. Yeah. You know, oh, I keep thinking about what song to sing in two weeks. You know, karaoke bar and Halloween weekend, okay. So, Pretty Halloween weekend. Because ever since I arrived in Alaska, it became my tradition, okay? No drinking and driving, of course. I go there so well. I come back home so well. All right, yeah. But I do sing and dance, though. So. I have two, two weeks to think about this song that I will sing. Okay. I keep thinking, okay, but for tonight, it's Thursday, tomorrow is Friday, I have to get back to work tomorrow, okay, so, we'll wrap it up for tonight, okay, so, and my dinner has been cooked, okay, so. yeah, alright, thank you, good night, happy Friday tomorrow, thank you.